Rides aren't the only things worth waiting in line for. Hey, I'm Emily from Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney Parks foods you need to try at least once. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at our favorite foods that can be found at Disney Parks and in our dreams. Number 10, churros. This tastes like if you housed a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but like heated it up first and then ate it on a 100 degree day. Highly recommend. Churros have long been a favorite snack at California's Disneyland. These 16 inch long treats are rolled with cinnamon sugar right in front of you at carts that are scattered around the park. You can find them at Florida's Disney World as well and are included in the Disney dining plan. Disney fans may have waited with bated breath for Galaxy's Edge at the Disney parks, but with a bright and colorful lightsaber churro in hand, at least they weren't hungry doing it. Number 9. Werther's Caramel Popcorn If you're a serious Disney food fan, you may know that many of the best and most unique treats can be found at Epcot. The Germany Pavilion is host to the Caramel Küche Shop, which is sponsored by Werther's of Werther's Originals fame and is actually the only freestanding Werther's store in the world. The delicious caramel popcorn is made in front of guests in the shop, and the best part is you can actually take this treat home with you. Even days later, it still tastes great. Number 8. Canadian Cheddar Cheese Soup One of Walt Disney World's most lavish and exclusive restaurants is Le Cellier Steakhouse, located in the Canada Pavilion at Epcot. It's tough to get a reservation here unless you plan months in advance, but if you manage to snag one, you'll be in for an incredible dining experience. All of the Canadian dishes on the menu are worth trying, but it's a starter rather than a main that keeps people coming back. This rich and velvety dish is actually pretty easy to recreate at home if you don't get a chance to try it in the parks. Number 7. Le Fou's Brew in 2014, an expansion was completed in Fantasyland at the Magic Kingdom that included a new Beauty and the Beast-themed area. This coincided nicely with the 2017 release of a live-action version of the beloved animated film. The area features Gaston's Tavern, which serves up this delectable beverage that's appropriate for kids and adults alike. It's a frozen apple juice drink blended with marshmallow flavor that's topped with a mango and passion fruit-infused foam. You can even get it in a souvenir stein or goblet that will make a great memory of your trip. Number 6. Candy Apples Now turn red to tempt Snow White to make her hunger for a bite. Getting a Mickey-shaped dessert is a must for any first-time visitor to the parks, but they taste just as good on the second, third, and fourth visit. There are a few locations where you can find these extra sweet treats – at Hollywood Studios, the Magic Kingdom, and Disney Springs. Depending on the time of year, you'll find candy apples shaped like a wide variety of different characters. The Halloween versions are always hotly anticipated because they debut new designs every year. Number 5. The Kitchen Sink If you're familiar with Walt Disney World, you know that the parks are only part of the magic. There are also many hotels on site that each hold their own unique appeal. One of the best is the Beach Club Resort, located in the Boardwalk area. It's home to the Beaches and Cream ice cream shop, which makes this frozen monstrosity. Meant to be shared among four to six people, the Kitchen Sink Sunday features just about every ice cream topping you could imagine, from the standard banana and brownie to candied orange slices and a cinnamon spice cupcake. Number 4. The Gray Stuff if you've seen the original Beauty and the Beast, and you have, you probably remember the line from the song Be Our Guest that goes, Try the Grey Stuff, It's Delicious. Try the Grey Stuff, It's Delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. After all, miss, this is France. For years, fans wondered what this mysterious Grey Stuff was, and you can finally try it for yourself. It's served at the aptly named Be Our Guest restaurant in the Magic Kingdom. And though it was initially a secret menu item reserved for special occasions, it's now a permanent feature. We won't reveal exactly what it tastes like because you've got to try it for yourself. Don't believe us? Ask the dishes. Number 3. Mickey Ice Cream Bar Pops, can I have one of those? You get a job, get it. Of all the Disney park snacks out there, the most classic choice is the iconic Mickey Ice Cream Bar. It may be simple, but that doesn't make it any less delicious, especially on a hot day. 
vanilla ice cream with a chocolate shell will never go out of style, especially when shaped like the OG Disney character. Is it formulated any differently than a regular old ice cream bar you can buy at your local grocery store? Probably not. But everything tastes better with officially licensed mouse ears. If you want a salty equivalent, try the Mickey-shaped pretzels. Number 2. A Turkey Leg There's no easier way to feel like a medieval king than by grabbing yourself a turkey leg at one of the Disney parks. The tradition of selling these at Disney started in the 80s at Big Al's in Frontierland, but has since become common in many other locations. You guys want to go on Matterhorn? Luke, I think me and your dad are going to sit this one out, maybe get one of them big pickles. According to Disney, they sell 1.6 million of their turkey legs every year across the six parks that they're available at. When you're at the parks, you'll inevitably see people walking around with these gargantuan snacks, and you'll have to try one for yourself. Are you allowed to eat that? I hope so. It's my second one. I'm sure all of you are salivating already, but sit tight through some of these delectable honorable mentions, because number one sounds real good right about now. Key Lime Soft Serve, Sprite, and an edible chocolate feather sent your taste buds to Neverland. Yep, they even have beignet. Want some? Okay, and how would you describe this milkshake to your friends? It tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and it's really good. Number one, the Dole Whip and Dole Whip Float. If you ask any Disney food aficionado what the most well-loved treat at Disney parks is, they'll probably tell you that it is without a doubt the famous Dole Whip. This cult favorite is only available at a select few locations, and its scarcity makes it all the more desirable. The pineapple-flavored soft serve can be enjoyed alone or topped on pineapple juice to make it afloat. If you prefer a citrusy flavor, you can opt for the Citrus Swirl, which is made with a combination of vanilla ice cream and orange slush. Honestly, the food part of a Disney trip is one of my favorite things. When I went to Disney World, I ate at the Be Our Guest restaurant, and I cried three separate times, once when I saw the ballroom, once when the napkin was in the shape of a rose, and then when they brought me the gray stuff. I was a mess. What's your favorite snack to grab at the Disney parks when you're on your way to get your Fast Pass? Let us know in the comments and hit that like button and subscribe to Ms. Mojo.